Well, the fire tornado is a very spectacular experiment, but you would need adult help for doing it. You would need a wooden base, a turntable, a, a metal ball, kerosene. Now first you make a chimney from a netting. It's got a diameter about 30 centimeters, one foot. Uh, this is the wooden base and this is the, the bottom part of it and there is a pivot over here where you put in the ball bearings and this ball bearing is there too so that the turntable can spin very smoothly. This is an old turntable and this is uh, the bush and this bush is going to sit on the ball bearing and you know that the turntable is very heavy so once you give it a turn because of the large moment of inertia it will keep spinning for a very long time then take a small metal ball put it in the center of the turntable put a bit of cotton and then add a bit of kerosene now with a lighted matchbox you light the cotton and then place your huge chimney on top of it which is 30 centimeters in diameter clamp the chimney by using clothes clips. You can see that the fire flame it doesn't go very high up right now and then you give the turntable a spin and wow the flame goes up in the sky. What happens is that uh, air is being drawn through the net and the hot air goes up and it carries the flame with it and that is why this fantastic fire tornado. See this once again, the cold air is drawn through the netting and the hot air takes the flame up. So it's an extremely spectacular sight to behold. Right now the flame is very small and this is the top view. As you spin it you can see the flame climbing up. And this is once again a final side view. As you spin, of course, the hot air goes up and it draws in cold air and takes the flame up with it towards the top of the chimney. Uh, this is an experiment, of course, you need some adult help to do, but it's a very nice and spectacular experiment.